Messiah arrived to the old song, I claim all of those terms are high frequency corrections. So uh, let me just do the ordering of, uh, of, the, of all the terms to, to verify the claim that those terms are in fact high frequency uh, corrections. So let's look at the ordering of uh, certain quantities for the, for the future usage. We make the velocity to the order of V naught, magnetic field to the order of V naught, and uh, as we know that uh, the frequency should be should be close to this. This is pretty much one one over k, the length length scale of the length scale of, of variation is. So L will be one over K, so from the definition of phase velocity, we know that our frequency will be in the order of V over L. And we make the pressure M naught TE, and as a Fourier component, uh, uh, DDT will be in the order of omega. From Ampere's law, we know that this term, as first we know this term is in, this, in the higher order, which means we could uh, neglect this term, and uh, we will make this into he into this. Basically, this becomes one over L, and this becomes a unit vector. This is pretty much J hat. Um, anything has hat on it will be a uh, will be a normalized a, a normalized vector. All of the length of those hat vectors will be one. Uh, let's try to uh, kind of uh, see the order of that. First, we need to make each term unitless such that we can compare the ordering of them. Uh, you cannot compare uh, with comparing the, the, if this is large or small with any with units in it because one hour or one second they're they're, they're not the same. They're, they have to be. You know, like you know, one hour or one second is a large number because it will be uh, thirty uh, three thousand six hundred seconds. So it's th then one hour or one second is three six thirty three uh, thirty six hundred. Uh, same idea. We just make each single term unitless. We multiply this, and we have. We we'll have this to this, 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 this to that. And as you can see here and here, we'll make this become 1 over L, 1 over L. And, uh, and, J, uh, and the J is equal, uh, is equal to C E naught 4 pi L J hat, as we derive from the Ampere's law here. And we plug it, plug J naught into here, 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 here. So we ended up arrived to the from here to here, from here to here, here to here, here to here. So so yeah. It's in the order. So we're doing the order, so we just make it roughly correct. Uh, in order, order wise, and uh, and the p equals to n not t e, n not cancels out. We only have t e left, so we can rewrite all this three ordering terms to a uh, to a more neat or easily to be understood way. So this can be written as uh, those three terms. This is basically the affine velocity. And this is one over omega i, uh, i on cyclotron frequency, and uh, v naught over l is omega, is frequency. Sorry, is omega, omega. So this will this term will end up become v a square over v naught square, and uh, omega over omega i. Similar idea, so this can be written as, uh, as such. And this is omega omega square. This is one over omega pe plasma uh, plasma frequency, 
and uh, yeah, so this will be write, written as uh, c square over v naught square, omega square over omega p e square, and this is uh, sound speed squared, speed of sound. So this is uh, I of cyclotron frequency, so it becomes C I square over V naught square, omega over omega I. So as you can see, this, the, and this is unity, this is unity, this depends on, on the circumstances, if it's unity or not. If this is equal to zero, we're dealing with uh, ideal MHD. If this is not zero or not small number, it will, will uh, but but sufficiently small, um, where we're dealing with resistive MHD. So, uh, as you can see, all three terms have omega over omega i, omega over omega p, omega over omega i. So, if we are dealing with a, uh, if we're dealing with a small, like a really low frequency. Uh, then, then those those terms, those ratios, will be small enough that could be ne uh, neglected. Thus, but however, if it's a higher frequency, then it won't it won't be neglected. That's why I said it is a high frequency correction. If we're dealing with low frequencies, then we will arrive to nice and neat formula like that, like generalized Ohm's law. Uh, to be noticed, this. This term, uh, the reverse of that, is a magnetic Reynolds number. Uh, so we can we can see that this will, this this term only those three terms will survive for low frequency. Uh, in other words, those only those three terms will survive uh, for low frequency. So there there is our 